Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming and maybe go over a topic or two. I'm one of your hosts, Elisha, sitting across from me, as always, Alex. How's it going? It's going great, Alex. You know where the audience can check us out on? Mm, where? Every podcast service Every that in podcast existence, service. and if we're not on one, reach out to us. We'll get on it. Um, and YouTube every single Friday. If you enjoy our content, please head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. Give us a buck. That gives you a, an exclusive every month. Five bucks gives you everything early. Go over there for more content, things like that. If you're a freeloader, don't worry. We are two please five stars everywhere. Like us on everything. Give us all of the Androids and Apples on every view section. Check out our socials, EVM9000 at Crazy Subscators. Let's get into the week. Alex, we got a little bit for this week. We got yeah. some Doom Eternal previews. We got some Dying Light getting you, you, delayed. You, you, you should just rephrase this part. And you should be, we, we, we got some delays. We got some delays for yeah. you. We got some delays <laughs> We got for delay you. on delay on delay. Yeah. But it's before de- we get in, yeah. Alex, hmm. I have a question. What is what it? What you been playing? Well, I think you know what I've been playing, I've been, I, 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 We've both I've been, been playing. I've been getting my... Uh, my Kakarot on. <laughs> yes, you have. I was wondering where you're gonna put. I was trying to think of something your else. Super Saiyans going. Yeah, my Super Saiyans. Mm-hmm. And how are you enjoying Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? I'm actually really enjoying it. I it's pretty fun. Am too. Yeah. I think I'll save our review. Like for it's the surprisingly very end. fun. Like I, th- I like I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting to enjoy enjoy myself as much as I am. Because like there'll be some parts I'm like, like I feel like. Um, there are things that could be better. <laughs> that is an understatement. Please continue. <laughs> um, we'll get more into that. Oh yes, yes. We um, will. I'm, but from so far, mm-hmm. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I'm having so, fun. So, mm. I I will do first impressions right now. Basically, okay. an over at just yeah, in case someone's ahead. on the fence of being like, it's our show. We can do whatever. And then, yeah, we can. We own this. We right. own everything in this. Right. Go for it. Sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll do a full review at the end. Uh, first impressions right now. Um, I am, for people who <laughs> know, um, and I think I'll get into it more, but I am in the Cell Saga. Alex, where are you? I, I just finished the Saiyan Saga about okay. a hit freeze Saga. So you can judge um, how much of the game each of us has played from that information. So <clears throat> this game yeah. does... Dragon Ball Z, really good. Yeah. It is not a great video game, and but I, it is yeah. a good Dragon Ball Z game. Okay, yeah. That yeah, makes sense. Um, there's a lot of things I just go, <laughs> why? Yeah. Um, so yeah. Z orbs are one of those things. Yes. Uh, if you don't know, that is basically the currency, I guess you can call it, for upgrading abilities. Which I didn't know that. I had to figure that out on my own. Yeah. Uh, so when they drop you into this game, yep. they're like, all right, here's the controls. And it's a picture of a controller. Yep. And they and I guess I'm a s- supposed to memorize it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so instead of an actual tutorial, you just f- fight Piccolo. Um, and then uh, this is, I, I'm, I feel like I'm getting too far deep into this. Bear your impressions. This is a good Dragon Ball Z game. If you are a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, I say buy it. If you are a Dragon Ball Z fan that doesn't want to shell out sixty bucks right now, wait for a sale. Yeah. This isn't a, this isn't <clears throat> this isn't what I wanted. So the people who made this game are the people who made Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm, one, two, three, and four. Interesting. Okay. Those games are arguably as good at if not better at some points in that game than in the actual anime mm-hmm. sometimes yeah and the mm. i was hoping for that here mm. but they got really i don't know if they got too ambitious or if someone came knocking on the door and was like hey you got to make this like way faster but this game can be <laughs> summed up as this was almost like made in a vacuum because I feel like they could have made this game a lot better if they made this in the middle of like flying around having fun in a Dragon Ball Z game and also doing cool stuff and there's a bunch of caveats I'll give to that later on in the actual full review but that's my huge grand scale of the game it fails in some parts but for a game that's just me 
powering up to Super Saiyan and flying around and blowing stuff up? Yeah, I kind of like it. I'm having yeah, a yeah, good yeah. time. I'm having a good time. It's just not what I hoped. No, yeah. I was hoping for, you know, some some something better. But did you I mean, play Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm? I did. You do I you played like all those? Huh? Do you like them? Oh, yeah. I love them. Okay. I mean, I've beaten every single one, and I didn't play them until you showed me them. So do you even like Naruto? Do I what? Do you like Naruto? Do you like the anime? I, I, I do. Have you even watched it? But I've never watched I never like sat and watched it like I did Dragon Ball so Z. So that's my point, though. Yeah. I feel like I so can So like, I like Naruto, some... but I'm not a, like, a fan fan to where I can sit there and watch every episode like every week. I'm, it's, I, I mean, I think it's cool, but I've never watched yeah, it. Yeah, see, I feel like Naruto Ultra Ninja Storm works as a game. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z does not work as a game if you do not know Dragon Ball Z already. Yeah. Which is weird because it explains to you yeah. like you don't know Dragon Ball Z no, yeah. To, to be fair, yes. But I don't fault it too much because you, the point of the game is you redo the story. So mm-hmm. I don't under I don't. Yeah. I don't fault it for that because we're playing Dragon Ball Z again. So I would expect them to reintroduce things. Mm-hmm. I will say it's really cool that they're doing things from the anime that I'm like, oh, I've not seen that in a video game. Yeah. Um, it, frame of reference, if you know Dragon Ball Z game, this is a lot like I'd say. Correct me if I'm wrong, Alex. If I remember correctly, this is like Budokai 3, open world type thing. Kind of, yeah. With Tenkaichi's approach to story, if I remember correctly, and then and Xenoverse is combat. I feel like I... I a little I, bit, yeah. I feel like I did that. This is basically Xenoverse is combat. Yes, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty much Xenoverse is combat. Um, Budokai is like weird world thing. Weird, yeah, because Budokai three had the to where you have the earth you or whatever, around. yeah, and you can fly around, and then mm-hmm. once you get to a spot, it'll just go, pew, it'll just go to the thing. Mm-hmm. With this area, with this one, you can just like you it's know, almost pick, the same thing. Yeah, you, well, you can pick the area, and then that area opens up. And if you remember, there was a PS two game called Dragon Ball Z Saga. It was yes. it was a white cover with Goku, yep. or, uh, Goku, Gohan in the front. Yeah, I think it frees and so in the back. Yeah, I, lo- I don't know why, but I love that game. That's a fun game. Um. And they had like you know, in the it had like a little area, and you can run around and and fight. I remember fighting specifically fighting a bunch of Cybermans. Um, that it reminds me a lot of that one, with the with, with the once you're in that area, but it it is has a bigger scale to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll 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 do a deep dive at the end yeah, of the show. Yeah. But that uh, should you buy this game, Alex? If you if you really like Dragon Ball Z, yes. If you really like Dragon Ball Z, I say by the if game. If you want it, just because you don't, you, I mean, it looks cool, and you don't, I mean, but you're not sure. I'd, yeah, I'd get, wait. Just wait. I'd just wait. wait. Yeah, forty bucks. If there's a demo or not a demo, mm-hmm. um, if there's a sale or if you ha- like, let's say you have a buddy who has it, be like, hey, let me try that. Yeah, and see if you like it. Yeah, bo- yeah, borrow it <laughs> or forty, forty, yeah. thirty. I think this is great. Sixty bucks. Ooh, yeah, it's see, where well, I think because we we love Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah, so I, mean, I we happily got, dropped yeah. sixty bucks. Oh yeah, because well, we're biased. I, did, about I didn't it. really do that. Uh, we. We have half to, our games, of yeah, course. We, um, yeah. So technically, I spent thirty bucks on it, but whatever. Um, uh, moving on, though. Mm-hmm. Doom Eternal, big preview event. The uh, NDA looks like it expired this morning, so bunch of pieces on this. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're interested in Doom Eternal, we're gonna give you quick uh, spots from about everyone's preview, then we'll talk about it. Okay. So Doom Eternal's preview over on GameSpot by Michael Higman. When you see Doom Eternal in action, it's abundantly clear that id Software is doing a whole lot more than making another Doom 2016. It has gone wild with new tools of destruction and platforming mechanics, and unforgiving combat is the adrenaline pump through its veins. Creative director Hugo Martin admits, quote, you've seen more in the first two to three levels in this game than you do in the entire Doom 2016 without question, end quote. And after getting my hands on Doom Eternal's first three outs, I'll tell you he's not wrong. This is another quote over on IGN by <coughs> Tristan <coughs> Oglive. It's going to take a lot to top the heavy metal masterpiece that was the single player campaign of 2016's Doom. But there's three hours of hands on time with its follow up, which suggests that Doom Eternal is rocking that right kind of riffs. Its environments are more open and densely packed with secrets, its enemy types more nuanced in their strengths and weaknesses, and its rework combat loop is more cerebral, but no less adrenaline charged, consistently taxing your brain, while still encourage you to bang your head. One more by Newsweek by Stephen Asarch. Asarch. Thank you. Doom Eternal is the high action FPS game you've been want, uh, waiting years to play. The release of the 2016 Doom reboot by id Software proved that well tuned engine and an endless horde of demons to slay make for an incredibly engaging experience given such praise. Its 2020 sequel had a lot to live up to with developers promising an epic story, new weapons, and a wide array of ways to deal with the scourge plaguing our planet. 
After spending three hours through the eyes of the Doom Slayer at a preview event in NYC, I can confidently say that Doom Eternal exceeded my expectations. Good. Alex, did you see any trailers or anything? Did you watch the new one that came out? Actually, yeah, I did. What do you think? It, it, it gets me really excited. Uh, dude, uh, I loved 2016. I played it around the time it launched. I yeah. took a short break, about a month in between actually finishing mm-hmm. it. Went back, finished it. Great great time. Great game. Yeah. It's one of those games where, where you're just going and, like, it's as insane as a game can probably get mm-hmm. while still being, like, something you can comprehend and still have fun with. Yeah. Because of how fast and everything how fast happens. And, yeah. How, how fast everything happens. Mm-hmm. Um, and if th- and if this is just more of that, psh, got me in. Yeah, and see, um, when I, I, tried play, I tried playing the 2016 Doom, and I don't know if I was just not used to it right. or it was just something too new uh-huh. but it's weird because i love quake right like I, I played quake 3 arena on my computer all the time i love that game i still have it on my computer um i actually want to play quake champions but my computer can't run it yours can so i'm gonna try it on yours okay um this uh, new one gets me excited because it just looks more like quake and they just more excited like more new features that i'm actually wanting to go back to the first one because i never finished it mm-hmm. so i'm thinking after kekarot i'm going to do mm-hmm. that and it's good it's it's yeah. worth i'm, I'm in the trick. mode for something like yeah. fast paced like then yeah. actually and for people who don't know march 20th the date that is one of the only mm-hmm. ones left standing in march don't um, jinx it, that, that one in animal crossing Where's that wood <laughs> Not got it. yeah man um yeah, super excited. Everything that was said in the previews, of course, you can go to Egypt Respecting website to get full coverage, but everything I read seems great. Yeah. Much more open uh, environments, uh, original Doom. There was separate hallways you can go down, but there was yeah. the general gist of you're going the general down. Vicinity this, you have to go to. You're going through this hallway. Yeah. Um, and when it gets real hard near the end, it's mm-hmm. almost like you're like you're doing like a math equation. Okay. Or like you're you, like because the mechanics are basically guns yep and a chainsaw okay. and melee you you get people weak and they uh blink blue yep. orange when you can melee them yep you can melee them for health use a chainsaw for ammo and then you kill things with guns of course okay and juggling those three mechanics mm. is harder than what it sounds especially near it, the yeah. end um and it, it's a lot of fun when you nail it Okay. And this one add is adding a double jump and a dash, so it's oh, a lot more yeah. complicated in that aspect. Mm. Very excited for what what is coming, especially <laughs> with the new weapons. And then it looks like you get a sword, okay. which is awesome. Yeah, I'm that, assuming yeah, that that's like blade, a that red blade thing. I'm assuming that's more of like an insta kill weapon yeah. that you can probably use for like a certain amount of time. Yeah, that looks cool. And then you have like a kind of rocket launcher on your shoulder kind of thing. You shoot that at things too. Really cool. Any any uh, lasting thoughts with this? Um. I'm just uh, I'm hoping that it does come out March because uh, I'm, I'm really it, watching that trailer. I'm like, damn, that looks really cool. I'm mm. like excited for it. It's mm. like, um, what game was it recently that you said that the more you were watching it, the more excited you were? Was it for Dragon Ball Z? It or? was Dragon Ball Z. Okay, because yes. like, I was watching it and originally. I was like, this is not going to turn out well because I saw the mechanics. Yeah, and I was right ish, but ish. also like yeah. I am having fun, so I don't regret yeah. playing it. By no because that's how it was with the Do- like when I played Doom, and I was like, oh, I was like, you know, it's it's okay. I'll, I'll go back. I'll come back to it later. I did eventually go back to it a little bit and then stop again. But it's this so one, I'm fun. like watching it. I'm like. Damn, it looks good. It really, it really gets me excited because um, in one of, in Doom, there's ultimate firing modes, mm-hmm. and in this yeah. one, it looks like it's uh, going above and beyond. So yeah. with the shotgun, um, in the Doom 2016, it was just like you just shoot yeah. a shotgun. Um, it looks like this one has a sort of shotgun, and it has like um, what was that? What would you call that? Like a, a zip line or something? And you can zip line to people and shoot them like oh, on your yeah, way yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah. That looked cool. Yeah. And then, of course, it's a uh, very Mortal Kombat like when you basically murder people kill the people it's like a fatality yeah, it's like a fatality yeah. you're crushing their heads and things oh yeah so it's it's super it's very brutal very metal yeah right the soundtrack is awesome oh yeah, yeah very yeah. heavy metal uh the soundtrack's one of the best in gaming periods it's, it's awesome yeah alex mm. we have another delay this Don't. one this one this one i'm honestly i'm really upset about really upset about okay yeah. i, I want to talk about because I, di- yeah. I didn't think you would be Dying no, Light too is what got delayed. Techland has confirmed that Dying Light 2 has been delayed. The game was originally scheduled to land in spring 2020, but the studio has officially pushed the Dying Light sequel indefinitely 
for the time being. Developer tweeted out a statement saying it needs more time on the project. Quote, we were initially aiming for a spring 2020 release with Dying Light 2, but unfortunately we need more development time to fulfill our vision. And quote, Techland wrote, quote, we will have more details to share in the coming months and we'll get back as soon as we have more information. We apologize for this unwelcome news. Our priority is to deliver an experience that lives up to our own high standards and to the expectations of you, the fans. End quote. Alex, is that a stick your crawl? I'm upset. <laughs> so I thought when you say spring 2020, it's yeah. because you have some resemblance that you're going to hit anywhere near that timeline. Mm-hmm. And it's looked like they're like, nah. Because it's crazy. I bet that you they, it'd be holidays. Well, now, I mean, we're getting so close to things that we're just going to September. It looks like yeah. September is no, the yeah. new thing where it's like, just push it to September. Yeah. And at that point, I'm like, well, just wait till November and we got new systems. That's what I was saying. I think everybody is just waiting for that new system because uh, Sony hasn't said anything about theirs. So I'm wondering if any of these people are be like, just wait for the system, see if they say anything. Because then we can be like, oh, for PS5. And then I'll push more people to be like, oh, that's going to be on PS5. We should pre-order that or get that. I don't know. I I feel like we're with with pushing it to s- September. I'm like oh, just a little more, but maybe and I can I guess it, we, and we can attest to this. Mm. Well, they're afraid of well, yeah, it will be exciting to be on new hardware, but people only have so much money. <laughs> well, so to like, be honest, a lot of people can. Oh, uh, I feel like some people delay games too because it's closer to uh, like I said holidays. If like let's say if I like if I'm a parent I want to buy my kid a game I'm like mm-hmm. do I look at a game that just was just new and released and you're like oh my kid must want that or do I go back to March mm-hmm. or February and want a game that's been Good out point. for months and I'm like that doesn't Good seem point. new they they might not want that you go to Best Buy but yeah they want PSK, what's, the what's the newest the new one oh yeah. this it oh, has okay. to be this you're not saying oh well in January this yeah. game related so yeah that's a good point too it's yeah because I could see that I could see why for that mm-hmm. yeah that, that's a good point and I'm curious on on if something cra- catastrophic happened or if they have a plan because delaying it indefinitely which is what Watch Dogs that's, Legion yeah. did oh, where we just don't that know hurts me. Yeah, God, well, Watch Dogs was a big one for yeah. me. Dying Light Two, I was like, eh, whatever. I I like where it's going with. Yeah, it's one of those games where it's like, eh, pr- yeah, like Watch Dogs. I'm more before. excited for, but Dying Light, I'm like, it still hurts. I loved Watch Dogs Two, so I'm just oh, so God. excited for. Oh God, I mean, I got I played it twice, <laughs> all the way through. <laughs> you did, you did play it twice. Oh, but yeah, Dying Light Two. I'm just like so excited for this game. I mm-hmm. like that they adding the, the decision changing of. You know, if you make one decision, it cre- it changes the whole world. Mm. Like, I think that's Curious super cool. Curious on if that'll work out or if it's one of those, like... I'm wondering if that's maybe one of the bugs or something. Like, they found... Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah, if, I mean, if there's so many... like, where they're saying, like, how yeah. many variables that are yeah. happening at once. Yeah, and I mean, I've seen gameplay for this game. There's a lot going on. Because, I mean, like, the... Because the game is free-running and stuff like that, and they made it a lot smoother, as you can tell. Did you play the first one? Yes. I did, did play you, the first one. Did I did not beat it. a lot it. of it? Um, I put a couple hours into it. I did not beat it though. I beat it. It was fun. Yeah. Um, it Dying Light Two does look a way lot better. Of the same. Well, oh. I would say honestly, like it, like visually, of visually, course, yes, way, yeah. way better. Yeah, that's what I meant. But like the actual parkouring, I'm mm-hmm. like, it looks better because frames aren't yeah. dropping or anything. But um, well, I can. T- I mean, like, I don't know why, but I've always been able to tell, like, with, for example, let's say Assassin's Creed. Their way they can climb and stuff like that from when they went from, I think it was Black Flag and then Unity, right? Yes. Yeah. From when when they went to Unity, when they showed the first time that the first time and you like halting over like the and you being able to see the parkour how smooth it is. Mm -hmm. Like I can, I've I've always been able to see those mechanics. So like when I watch Dying Light Two gameplay. I'm like, oh, he's moving a lot quicker with this arm or whatever. Like, I see what you mean. Like, I don't know why, but I just like noticing no, yeah, those you can things. Notice it that it I like, I like fluid. seeing. Yeah, it's more fluid. So I'm in. Ju- I like that they've added more to that. No, me too. I I agree. I agree with that. It it looks much more fluid, and I think it's because they learned a lot of stuff from the mm-hmm. first one and things like that. So yeah. I am excited. Hopefully, this game turns out well. Um, I of course wish them the best. Um, something I didn't put on here. Um, that I uh, I'm uh just hit to my mind. Iron Man. VR was delayed as uh, well. Yes. I believe that was to April. Um, if you could do a quick Bing search for yeah, that, gotcha. because of course here we use Bing. Um, and while you uh, uh, do that, I'm going to mail over. I'm going to mail over my 
inevitable death. All right, I'm done. Um, what was the date now? Uh, May 15th. May 15th, okay. Yes. And I believe it was like March something. Um, it was uh, from February 28th to May 15th. Oh, okay. Yeah, you were way, close. You said March. so Way more, though, um, than yeah. I originally thought. I thought it was like mid-March, but wow. Um, hopefully... Th- Hopefully they get to polish that up a little more because I'm excited. Mm-hmm. That, that, that looks like a VR game that I'm definitely jumping oh, into. Oh yeah, definitely jumping into. Yep, yep. Alex, yep. Hmm. NPD, which is tracking video game sales, yep. released their top ten of the decade. Would you like to hear it? Sure. I'm gonna. I got one to ten. I'm gonna start at ten, go to one. Okay. Got it. Number ten, Minecraft. Number nine, Black Ops Four. Number eight, Call of Duty World War Two. Number seven, Red Dead Two. Number six, Call of Duty Ghost. Jeez. Number five, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Number four, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Number three, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Number two, Call of Duty Black Ops 1. And number one, Grand Theft Auto 5. So there is a Jesus. theme here I think we can all pick up on. There is a lot of Call of Duty. And Seven the, of them. And the only exception is two Rockstar games, which is Red Dead 2 and Grand Theft Auto 5 at number one. Um, shout out to Minecraft. That, hey, it's 10. pulling up that 10, yeah. Uh, coming coming up. Uh, supr- <laughs> These are our top-selling games, which is, if I'm being completely honest, um, a little depressing. But it's, it wow. shows uh, what sells Call of Duty um, and Call of Duty. And uh, Grand Theft Auto, of course, makes sense because it was on. it's still charting to this day. And it was released in 2013. Which one? GTA? Yeah. You know what's crazy? What? They just added it on Game Pass. Yes, I saw that. That's that crazy. was interesting. And did you know it was on PS Now before that? I did not know that. See, I feel like that's the proof that there's just a different thing happening. Yeah, because it know, was man. on PS Now before then, which I didn't know about. Someone told me, actually. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Um, so as soon as it left PS Now, they went to Game Pass. Really? So it just proves that like people just don't pay attention to PS Now. Because yeah. people were saying this was a huge deal. That Grand Theft Auto was going on a like service you can pay for. Mm-hmm. I thought they were, stopped people were PS saying, Now. No, PS Now's still going. Uh-huh. You're thinking of um, View. Oh, that's TV. what it was. Yep, that's PS what Now it was. is when you download games. Basically, yeah, yeah, they're game it. Yeah, 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 I got it. Um, still, but yeah, and, that's yeah. yeah, that's wild though. Uh, but this MPD is 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 pretty crazy. Mm. Um, um, to be honest, I'm surprised Minecraft is not higher. I was thinking that too. Because honestly, does this include every type of version? So, like, like, for example, let's say GTA. Is that every PS4, Xbox One, PS3 version, Xbox 360 version? Yes. Okay, so, like, for Minecraft. It gets a little weird, I think, when you talk digital, I think, okay. for some things. Uh, I Cause, don't remember. Because, yeah, because I was going to say, for Minecraft, I mean, there's the old systems, the new systems, PC, the mo- PC mobile. mobile. I don't think they count mobile. Okay. Now. I don't know. Do they count... The I feel like there's been like two different versions of this game. At least there on has, Xbox. but I, like, I think they they're essentially like the you same know like thing. for like, example Xbox One they had the standard one and then they had the favorites edition, mm-hmm. which was like an upgrade upgraded to, like, a Windows thing, so mm-hmm. they can all play together. Yeah, yeah, I I think it just counts what they can count. Okay, so I don't think they can count mobile downloads. I think I think God. I could be wrong. Write in on Twitter or email me um, if you have like. Uh, better qualifications to MPD. I just know they have uh, issues with some digital sales and things like that. Yep. So I don't know how fleshed out this is. I know for sure Grand Theft Auto Five is real, and I I didn't know Black Ops One sold that well. It it would be number yeah. two. Yeah. In ten years. That is crazy. Black Honestly, I th- I would have thought um, Modern Warfare Three. Uh, w- only Honestly? because of how hyped Modern Warfare Three was. I'm surprised Modern Warfare Two is not on here. Oh my god! You're rather right. than mo- rather, I rather have Modern Warfare Two than Ghosts up here. God, do you remember Ghosts? And see, I didn't mind Ghosts. I didn't like it. it. Was it was fine? I just didn't like they, it. And I even had the expansions for these because I thought they were so cool that they added uh, Predator, uh, Michael Myers. Uh, I don't know. You know if you remember this? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> there was a DLC pack where mm-hmm. uh, you get you get like this um, jungle map. And you get to play as the Predator in the game. And then there's uh, another map, and then you get to play as Michael Myers. 
And like if you as you're running around, the, the, the guy has this. it's it's Michael Myers with a knife. Yeah, I faintly remember this. I think it was it, it was fun yeah, because it, like when cool. I was playing a predator, it was actually predator. You had the whole gear and everything. Oh, and also, um, almost forgot to mention, pretty big deal. Red Dead Two is on here. That came out last year. Yeah. So like, pretty huge deal to hit top ten of a decade for only being out for less than a year. And not Red Dead 1, because everybody always talked about Red Dead 1. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what that would be on the list. Um, uh, curious on uh, what... Really? Black Ops 4? Yeah, Black Ops 4. I mean, I at least not, not even 4. I mean, 3, really? I liked 4 better than 3. You liked 4 better than 3? Yeah, I guess I would, yeah. too. Even though 4 didn't have a campaign, 3 was... <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Three was that point where I was like, "I didn't. Are, I, I didn't. Are these bad now." I tried. I played only the story. I played one match of online. I was like, "Yeah." At least with four, I actually played because I mean it is online only. But I played a couple, and I even played the 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 royal the royal thing the the fr- the battle royale. Oh, I actually literally I'm not even gonna lie to you, barely played four. Played like yeah. a little bit of it, and mm-hmm. then just I played. I played a good I was, bit. I think I was called duty out because I had played almost every single release up to that point. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, I gotta get these break. Yeah. Um. But yeah, big shockers there. War War Two, good for them. Yeah, I mean, Activision's making money, man. Mm. Making that money, and Rockstar's making even more yeah. money. Shout I out could to definitely Minecraft. see Black Ops Two for sure, though, because it's up there. That one sold a lot. That one was so good. Very curious if uh, if they included in-game transactions. Mm. Because Fortnite, of course, would be number one, but I wonder because I assume GTA Five would be number two. I would assume just. Uh, but that, that I don't think anyone would t- would tell them their numbers. Yeah. After that, Alex, no, mm. you played X Cloud, correct? I have. We have some exciting news today. Tell me. Here are the games that Microsoft just added today, Ooh. alongside the rest of their existing library. This is by Jez Corbin. Uh, on Windows Central, they have added Halo: The Master Chief Collection, oh, man. Destiny 2, Sid Meier's Civilization 6, Batman: The Enemy Within, Complete Season Episodes 1 through 5, Batman: The Telltale Series, The Complete Season Episodes 1 through 5, The Wolf Among Us, Wasteland 2, Director's Cut, The Surge, Super Hot, Portal Knights, Gunner, Blueberry Edition, Kingdom 2 Crowns, Sparklight, Tracks: The Train Set Game. <laughs> <laughs> and Train Sim World 2019. We kind of fell off the deep end near the end there, but we, but you know, yeah, good, good ones towards the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> great ones. You can tell they were like put the good ones in the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> and then it would just put put Goner Blueberry near the end. <laughs> but this is That's very cool. exciting. Uh, shout out to Microsoft making XCloud mm-hmm. a beta service that is free. Yeah, just just. DDT Stadia into the ground, just savagely. Yeah, Stadia not there's even so many. I would say games. Stadia not even have just with this list alone the quality that some of these games have, and that's not saying much. To be yeah. honest with you, but I mean Halo the Master Chief Collection alone, yeah, <laughs> like blows I mean, that's out. Fu- most, that's what six fu- games. Six games now. Yeah, I think I don't know how that works because technically, like. Not everything is on PC, so I'm assuming the whole collection is on there. I just don't yeah. know how that works. Uh, but hey, whew, where is my? There, there are. They're going in. Dude, respects yeah. to them. I didn't know they added so many. Destiny two. Yeah, it was like, literally today, as of recording, and today is it's the twenty first. Um, as uh, of course, so yeah. very exciting. Uh, Alex, did you mm. see this Godfall footage leaked today? I did not. So Godfall is the new game um, that was the first confirmed in quotes game by um, uh, what was the studio? I don't remember the studio name. I'll go ahead and read the thing. Yeah, out. thank you. you. Um, so Godfall footage leak. This is on IGN by Jonathan Dornbush. A leaked trailer uh, circulating earlier of PS5 and PC game Godfall has been confirmed as legitimate, but its developers assure players that the footage is a year old and not representative of PlayStation's next-gen console, as is originated, fr- uh, originated from a PC build. The Godfall Twitter account posted a message confirming the leaked footage found on Reddit and various other sites is in fact real and comes from a quote, an internal presentation and is year old PC footage, end quote, <laughs> rather than PS5 footage, though. A full state reads Hey everyone, we can confirm that the circulating training is a year old PC footage used as part of an internal presentation. We are energized by your excitement and look forward to showing you just how far this game has come. Stay tuned for a more detailed look soon. 
energized. It was a it's a um, adjective to use. It's from Counterplay Games and Gearbox. Thank you. Okay. Gearbox Publishing Counterplay. Makes I didn't it. realize, that, yeah, that the leaked Godfall gameplay is from a. It's 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 an yeah, it's a year old internal trailer. Yeah, yeah. It's so it leaked it's, this morning, I believe. Yeah. And this all happened really quickly, and they were like, "Oh, just say it's year old because it's what it is." So we don't want it to yeah, like, yeah, show yeah, off yeah. footage as if that's what it looks like now. Yeah. Um, but very interesting. Have you seen the footage, Alex? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. What did you think? <laughs> um, it gives me very Dragon Age mixed Dark Souls vibe. Yeah, Dragon Age, Dark Souls, God of War yeah. kind of combat. It looks cool. It does. Um, I, I like the art style. It looks it looks nice. Apparently, also leaked with this, I think, was their documents that was hinting at a um, launch window, launch-ish game with PS5. So that's interesting. exciting, too. Yeah, it, looks, yeah. it looks awesome. Oh, yeah. It, I'm... I'm Go ahead. Sorry, I was gonna say I wonder the the tra- the leaked trailer because it was like gameplay. I wonder what they were playing on. If there was the dev the PS5 dev um, kit or PC was it? Yeah, your old PC footage. Oh, so okay. This was not gotcha. PS5. Okay. Um, I was about to say <laughs> it would be cool though. If it yeah, was. right. But but um, hopefully it will look even better because it's it's mm-hmm. older. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah. That that I'm excited to play it. There's not too much to talk about. Um, look up the footage if you want to see it. It looks cool. Uh, I, I've remained excited. Yeah, Alex. Mm. Half Life games are free right now. So every Half Life game is going free to play for a limited time in anticipation of the release of Half Life Alex. So that is the VR game by Valve. If you guys didn't know, users can go to Steam right now and install Half Life One, Half Life Two. Half-Life Episode 1, Half-Life Episode 2, and catch up on the series so far. So, when it says free to play for a limited time, does that mean it's just, it's kind of like, you know how Xbox does like the free weekend thing? So it's like that. Basically. So it's not like if you get a chance, install it right now for free, and then you keep it forever, or yeah. you just get to play it. So it's that. free to play until, until the like release say, date of Half-Life, Half-Life uh, Alex, which I believe is April gotcha. 4th, April gotcha. 12th, something like that. But, I mean, hey, that's plenty of time to play them if you yeah. are anticipating um, either buying Half Like Alex and you haven't played them in a while, or mm-hmm. you want to go in ha- uh, Half Like Alex knowing the lore. That's an interesting way how to spell Alex, by the way. Alex, yeah. yeah it, it's whatever. it's pretty groovy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like uh, you, take an, you take like an LCD. LSD, not LCD. <laughs> LCD is like a... My phone is like going nuts. Jesus. It sounded like, um, like it was about to explode like the... Was it the Galaxy S eights or something like that? Or was that a Note? Oh, phone? You t- what oh, was you, the one that you, cashed on fire? S seven. S seven. The bat. Right. Yeah, it was just like on caught on fire. I uh, I won't get into too many details because oh, I don't like talking about my job. But a guy tried to sell me that one time, and I was like, "You Isn't told this me the about phone this phone that, that blows up." And because uh, I plugged it up and I was like, I don't know about this because mm-hmm. I, I thought I recognized it. And then the, <laughs> the machine was like, we don't take we this don't phone. take this. Yeah. And I saw the name of it. I was like, aha, so this one was going to explode, bro. Here you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> Have you heard of the game Felix the Reaper? No, it's a romantic not. comedy game about life and death. I was going through xCloud because you got me interested just mm-hmm. to see if, they have, uh, if there's something that was on there. And that, that game popped up and I was like, what the f- what is that? All right, Alex. Now you now have an assignment. Play mm. Felix the Reaper. Oh God! And give us your review ne- uh, 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 by next week. Was Goner one of the new ones? You, did you say yes. Goner? Okay, the this Blueberry w- Edition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it looks it looks cool. Does it? It's a two D. It's a two D platformer with roguelike elements. Mm, it's, okay, that's the cover. Okay. That's yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, are you? Have you played any more XCloud since we um, talked? I use it like once a week. Are you playing at home? Are you le- are you? Home? I I last week I tried playing it here. I I played it here. It was fine. The week before that, I tried playing it somewhere, and it, every once in a while, it'll it'll be a little laggy, and then it'll fix itself. But most of the time, I'm like, yeah, like I want it to be smooth like the whole time. So what I so what I did um so the girlfriend because I was playing Dragon Ball Z mm-hmm. way too much, and we were getting into Critical Role. Okay. I told her, hey, let's watch Critical Role, and I'll play Kakarot on my computer. Yeah. So what I did was set up uh, Critical Role on the big TV. Yeah. And then sit on my computer and mm-hmm. stream it. Oh, yeah. I used to do you that remember all the time. that? Yeah, yeah I, do, the, I used to do that all the time. So if you didn't know this, you can go to your PC, yep. and it's called Xbox Console Companion App. Mm-hmm. You download it, and you can just simply stream. Your system, of course, has to be on. Yeah. But you can sh- stream your... It's just remote playing, pretty much. Basically. Yeah. A PC remote playing. it. it it's 
decent enough. I, oh, no, I, yeah. I don't have a great computer. Um, you guys know that. I've been complaining about it all the time. It's um, better than mine. But it, uh, <laughs> but uh, it it plays. It didn't stutter yeah. really at all. I did put oh, the quality yeah. of the the stream to high quality, mm-hmm. and I don't see many hiccups. I do see a few weird things happening sometimes, mm-hmm. like my controller will just randomly disconnect a few times. But yeah. aside from that, it was pretty fine. It is annoying because network quality problems will come up sometimes, but nothing will yeah. actually happen to the stream. So that's weird. I was like, oh no! I remember, I remember you and I used to do that when we used to co-op games. I used mm-hmm. to have my computer over, and I would stream it on that when you have when you didn't, we didn't have the extra TV. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, yep, and it worked pretty seamless. It wasn't yeah. too bad for. Oh no, yeah, uh, I and mean, it's an we, easy fix too. And what do, what did we play? Halo and Gears, probably. I think so. I don't. It was remember. like some co-op probably. games. Halo yeah. Five, Gears Four. Yeah, yeah, one of those. Yeah, Alex, mm. I wanted to take a second. I wanted to take a second, man. And thank everyone for listening this far. We're going to break off to our review, but I want to thank everyone for listening. Just in case you aren't interested in the Dragon Ball Z uh, review, you can cut off now. We'll see you next week. Again, every Friday. On you every stay, though. Of course, please stay. Just yeah. to listen to our lovely, lovely voices. Um, stay to... Uh, uh, but we go every Friday, every podcast service, every YouTube uh, channel. Every Friday we come to your beautiful, beautiful ears. And... If that's not good enough, you can head over to patreon.com slash ggchievers for only a buck. You get that exclusive every month that helps us, that supports us, that gives Alex a better computer so he can actually turn it on. And $5 will get you something uh, early, uh, be it our episodes, be it our Patreon exclusives, exclusive chatting to us. Uh, uh, you can, uh, of course, tweet at us and email us. And we'll get your questions on the show, things like that. Thank you guys for so much for listening. We're now progressing to our review of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Mm. Alex, we want to... You want to start us off? Boy. <laughs> That's how they should start, right? Yeah, boy. All right. Go on. What mm. are your opening thoughts? Next time on, on Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Z. And this is all this game had to do to sick me in hey, immediately. Because yeah? we start off mm. in a terrible tutorial. Because w- was Okay, was it even... It's not even a tutorial. It it's It's... it's Here's the uh, controller. This a is welcome to our do. game type of thing. Barely. Yeah, yeah. basically. Uh, here's the controller. This yep. is what every button does. Yep. We'll never show you this again. Goodbye. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I had I looked at, I'm not going to lie, I looked at the controller. I'm like, all right, I guess I have to remember this. All right, so LB is this. RB is this. So I did that for approximately two seconds and went, no, nope, I'm just going to wing it. Yeah. yeah. I did fine. Yeah. I did fine. And I will say one bad thing about the game is i have not used any sort of a strategy oh no same of i course. hit b yeah every now and then i hit a yeah i hit b then sometimes alex i'll hit lb mm. a oh. kamehameha mm. gallic gun masenko oh sure and then i'll just punch him some more and then yeah. usually i've won by that yeah. point <laughs> that's one thing that i do miss about which one was it um, Ooh. I think it was I'm, the I'm I think it was the Budokai or the Tenkaichi games. Was it Raging Blast? Maybe, maybe like the were... ones where they had actual combos, and you would hit the X like you. Let's say you hit you would hit X four times and then Y or A, and then it does Kamehameha because you have to hit those buttons precisely. You remember those? I think that was the that should be Budokai. I think that was Budokai's. Or uh, the Tenkaichis, or all like ultimate Tenkaichis, like you know the, the side to side fighting one. Yeah, the yeah I remember Tenkaichi. where you had to hit combos like Mortal Kombat. To yeah. where like let's say it was X X X Y, so it would it would like punch a couple times, and then at the last A you would it, it would do mm-hmm. it, and then if you hit Y you kick. So if you do X X Y X, it would do like punch Y. So it's like I miss that a little bit. Because I kept hitting B, 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 B. It's just punch, punch, punch. <laughs> or I'm like, it automatically, I mean, I, sometimes it kicks, but I'm like, nah. I mean, I I, I, I want to be able to, like. I will be honest. The combos do get cooler. They do. They, because uh, eventually in the skill tree, yeah. you unlock combo plus one. Okay. Which I swear to God, it's more than plus one because it feels like I'm punching <laughs> these guys for an hour. And but, maybe um, it's just a level. It's not just, like, one extra hit. It, maybe I I, didn't, I don't read anything, but yeah. I just click on everything because I have so many orbs now. Um, 
Uh, you haven't gotten to it, but you can eventually collect the Dragon Balls. Yes. And you can wish for more Z-Orbs, and they'll give you 10,000 Z-Orbs. Oh, cool. You don't really need to do that, because now I have 50,000 Z-Orbs. Oh, so really? Don't, definitely okay. don't need this many. Are you trying to get them? Do you fly around every once in a while and grab them, or you it just gives them to you with every Dude, fight? you're about to get into my psyche for a second. Oh, so, God. All right. Let's go. Let me. I'm playing that. this game. Yeah, we're relaxed, by the way, at this point. Just yep. listen to Dragon Ball Z. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get your nostalgia going. Just sit back, relax with us so i'm starting this game off i'm having fun i'm yeah. like whatever and i see these orbs i'm like well i'm definitely gonna need these yeah I so i am grabbing them as i go yeah and then i don't know if it's ocd or, or I, I don't know what like, it is, i want to get but all i start obsessing yes and then i eventually have to be like i gotta stop and play the game yeah. <laughs> because at the end of the day the most efficient way of getting them mm-hmm. is beating things yeah it's beating things i've now, noticed that there are and the reason i have so many alex it's because Jesus Christ, they won't stop spawning enemies. <laughs> and what I mean by that yep, is... When you're just flying and then you see the little red and you're like... Bleh. And what I mean by that is eventually you'll get stronger than the enemies you're fighting. Yeah. Right? In the in the, in the the world. Yeah. And eventually they'll respawn them out to get them stronger. But there is a sweet spot to where you'll be strong enough to fly into them and yep. kill them one hit. Yeah, have you done an this achie- yet? Yeah, there's an achievement for it. I was so, about to ask you if you got it because I had I gotten have. it. Okay. So... There's an achievement for doing that 50 times. Really? I did it 50 times. Dang. Not okay. Not looking to do it. There are just so yeah, many. Yeah, you just flying and, and you I just have kill, to, And there are things I have to get, right, yeah. on the ground. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I can't get down because they're going to engage me in a fight. I'd rather one hit them. It's like Pokemon. You're like, do I want to engage them or not? So I'm just hitting them all, sitting, waiting for them, and I eventually get this achievement. So, um, but yeah, so I'm just knocking these things out left and right, and now I've accumulated a fortune of these Z orbs. Now, like I was saying, you can eventually get the Dragon Ball Z balls. The Dragon balls. Z orbs is what I call them. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm just messing orbs. around. Okay. No, 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 no. Dragon balls. Oh, you can okay, get them. okay. And of course, when you get all seven, you can make a wish. Yeah. So there's a cool mechanic in the game. I'll get. I'll give them. Okay. I'll give them this. The community boards. For some yeah. reason, I'm obsessed with these things. I had no idea about. F- by the way, I had no idea how to do any of that. So, and then I figured it out. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not too hard, but it, at first it can be very shocking. No, because so I was like, who do I put where? I'm like, I'm just going to stick everybody on one. But then I figured out each person has a, sp- uh, has a higher level on yeah. something that I just stick them on something. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now um, is there's a cool mechanic with the Dragon Balls. Mm-hmm. You can wish people you've killed back to life. So you can wish Raditz back, you can wish Nappa back, you can wish the Genu Force back. That opens a quest line with them, and you go fulfill the quest line, and you get them for your community board. Hmm. So that's a cool mechanic that's, that's in cool. it. You, you get cool... Yeah, because there's a lot of people that you could have for your boards. There's like three, four pages. So many. So many mm-hmm. pages. Um, and another thing with the, uh, the, the, uh, the cool thing about the game... How are you on spoilers? Um, Would you care if I spoiled something? For people who, you know, don't uh, don't want to hear spoilers, we're about to hit spoilers. Yeah, it's not really and a spoiler. I'd say. I, I'll leave it for a little while longer. Okay. I will say this. Okay. There are other canon people okay. from other games okay. that show up here. Interesting. And it's kind of cool that that is showing a, not only the anime history, mm-hmm. But the history of the games, okay. so that's pretty cool. You'll see as you do things who comes and and what they're doing there. Okay, and I'm just, I think you'll recognize them. I don't know how far you got in some okay. of these games, um, but that's kind of cool. Um, there's a lot of mechanics in the game that I'm like, why would I want to do that? Yeah. Um, eventually, you can make a car. I saw that because there's a ra- a guy that I want to race. But it says I need to buy, do a car. I'm like, why would I want to build a car? So okay, if I. So this is one, this is another thing where I'm like, do they think I want to drive over flying? Yeah, it's, it's like it's like I mean they already try to give us Nimbus. I'm, I don't really want to use Nimbus. I want to fly. <laughs> I want to fly because yeah. it's cool. Yeah. And also you can't go as fast. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the flying already isn't great, but I mean it gets. It's all right. I mean that. The RB and the right trigger thing is kind of <laughs> annoying. A little, Like, right? why can't I use the, the analog? Why why can't I just control, like, I'm a plane anyways? Um, <clears throat> there's things like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, there's just odd design choices mm-hmm. that I'm like, why didn't you take a second to review? And I think that, that sums it up. T- 
time. I'm assuming they did not have enough time to implement these things correctly. Yeah. I'm, and I don't think this is a spoiler. They don't do Super Vegeta. And I don't know why, but I was like, why the fuck did you not do Super Vegeta? And I know that's not a huge deal to some people. That's I'm just a weird. Vegeta fan. I mean, that's in that. Uh, they just Android make him. Tug, right? They just they call him Super Vegeta. Yeah, he's just Super Saiyan the whole time. I'm like, come on, man. Like, that's weird. Make him buff. And make him yeah, because cool. Super Vegeta he gets like. Yeah. And so uh, I mean, Trunks does it too. Speaking of Trunks, you <laughs> don't even fight Cell as him. Why? That's weird. Why? Why are I there? We- there's like weird, ob- and I guess they didn't have time to animate. Yeah. Is it really that hard to animate Trunks no, you buffer mean, and with okay. big hair? Yeah. You don't even do that fight. That whole scene is not in the game. Hmm. He All that happens is, you know how Trunks goes to stop Cell from eating mm-hmm. 17? Yeah. Uh, no, or is it 16? 16. 16. 16? He, he goes to eat him, and Vegeta just kicks him. It is, it, wait, no, sorry. 16 is the, the robot guy. Uh, 18 so, is the girl. 18. 18, sorry. I, you, I had got jacked I up for a second. 18 is I the one that's with Krillin. Okay, yeah, I 18. don't pay attention. 18. So he goes to eat 18 with his mm. tail penis, mm-hmm. and Vegeta kicks Trunks. So you don't even first off get to fight Trunks, which is an awful thing, but like shows how messed up Vegeta is. So that's taken out, and then you don't even see cool, powered-up Trunks. Hmm. But it's weird because they're so faithful to the anime in some spots, but they're I think glossing over because things. Because the game is Kakarot, they're they're just not trying to they're trying to kinda like fly over everything and I just like, okay, that. you're Goku. There you I go. I don't buy that. I, I, I don't only, I, I mean I hope not. <laughs> only because they do other things well. Well, oh, okay. Like there are other things where you're not Kakarot and it's cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Gohan and Piccolo. That was done pretty well. It, it was pretty cool. It was, but did I really have to be Gohan that fucking long? <laughs> that is true. I, you were Gohan pretty well. Pretty well it's like, okay. it's, yeah. And not in a cool way. Now, there is a time coming up that you are Gohan during the Cell Saga, which is cool now. I haven't fought Cell. So I haven't gotten to that. Well, see, that, that, see Go, uh, Teen Gohan is one of my favorite characters because Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I'm hoping they do my this favorite. right. Cause oh, God, I really hope because that's my favorite character. I do know they do... Um, father, son, command mail, right? Oh, I've already okay. seen pictures, so I'm like, okay, that's nailed. Okay. I just gotta be ready to hit screenshots. When I just really hope up. they get, they, uh, so. And also, they didn't do my, one of my favorite, um, scenes in the anime. Mm. Do androids, uh, experience fear? That's one of my favorite things mm. in the anime. Yeah. Where Vegeta fights 15, I think it is, the white pudgy one. Ooh, is that fifteen or nineteen? I, I, don't that, I think that's no, 19. it's nineteen. Nineteen, it yeah, because uh, yeah, because Android twenty is Doctor Jiro. Dr. Jiro's yeah. brain, or whatever though. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, nineteen. They didn't the even do that perfect because they mm. kind of do it, but they won't do it. Like I was like, can't you do a little semantic where I rip his arms off in a cool way? But then, then they just don't do it. Mm. I feel like they don't commit in certain ways that make it look cool. Um, if and you've played Naruto Ultimate Shippuden, yeah. so like there are yeah, times no. where it will stop, and uh-huh. you'll basically watch a movie. Yeah, but like yeah. I feel like that's worth it to really convey how cool this is. This yeah. is going on, and there are parts in the game where okay. I'm like, "Wow, this is awesome." Now, my because I haven't hit this part, and I just want to know now. Um, the scenes where it's supposed to be the really crazy scenes, for example, when Goku first first turns into Super Saiyan because mm-hmm. Krillin's death. Right. Does that scene get flied by, or do they like? Is, does it, is it like a movie? And you're like, oh, I'm feeling it, and he's. You can see, like, you know, in the anime, the electricity pumping. He's getting mad. You know, you're 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 get you're getting pumped. You're like, oh shit, he's about to change. It's about to happen. Does do you get that feeling in the game? At least with this scene so far, because I don't want to spoil more upcoming scenes. But at least this is the first scene that I'm trying to think of. That's the first hype hype scene. The lines uh-huh. are great. Okay. The visuality mm-hmm. isn't nailed 100%. Okay. Um, but the line delivery yeah. and the emotion, yeah. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Because okay. he gets upset. He's like, I'm going to kill you, Frieza. <clears throat> he tells Gohan to leave b- before he loses his, his, his reasoning. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. But him actually transforming mm-hmm. didn't look as cool as it could have. D- yeah. Because, again, I've seen frames of father-son. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah. So like, I feel like again, yeah, because I mean, I this, feel like with Ali, uh, like if they're gonna try 
with these scenes, make it with those momentum scenes. Like with Father Son Kamehameha, make sure that that scene is like a, a moment that you're going to remember with Legendary Super Saiyan when he transforms. Like in the show, you know, he's changing and you see him flickering from black to gold and he's like, you know, mad flickering. See that? Have that. that, have isn't, that. That's, the, that's a good point. They don't do that. It's, it is oh. just, it's, it's too quick. And see, the, me thinking they nailed, about like, it makes they, me want to go back and watch these episodes because I'm like, these were the moments you were like, I was, I've been waiting five episodes for just this moment. This is what I'm waiting for. And it was worth it. They nailed, eight, like I said, 80% of it. Okay. It's just that little bit of, it just doesn't it, look it needs as cool that little, as it's that, supposed that, to. That, that extra oomph. The polish. Yes. And I feel like this, this game can be routed out in a couple sentences. They needed more time. Okay. They did what they could. Because <laughs> they it's it's clear that either they got too ambitious mm-hmm. or their deadline got cut. Yeah. Or they said this game needs to go out now. Whatever happened, what whatever happened happened. This probably hmm. compare okay. Ninja Storm was four games. That Ultimate Ninja Storm one was all of Naruto. Shippuden was three games. Yeah. So and it continued though, also didn't it? Two continued, then three. There was like a sequel. Yeah. Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's These not, are all it's, sequels to each okay. other. Okay. Okay. That's about to say it's not like Dragon Ball Z. You know, each game is pretty much Saiyan Saga, Cell Saga. You know, so on and so forth. It's the same thing over and no, over. No, no, no. Yeah, no. This was. This is Naruto. Okay. This is the first third of Shippuden. This is the middle mm. Shippuden. I feel like this they is the end of that. Shippuden. I'm almost like, should they have done Dragon Ball? Mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Z. And half like, uh-huh. of Dragon Ball Z, other half, Dragon Ball Z Super. Mm. Like I feel like we're in. And a then s- as an expansion, give me GT. I'm one person that fucks, I like man. GT. <laughs> Look, I don't hate GT. I don't hate it. Ten percent of GT is cool. Everything else garbage. <laughs> okay, see, and I, I, I I'll like, take the fights. Give Whenever me, someone opens their mouth, I'm done. Give, it, give me, give me the cool scenes. I don't care about these scenes where Goku has to go find this Dragon Ball and he's fighting this weird thing in this cave as a kid. <laughs> I don't need that. Just give me where he weird turns Super Saiyan birds. 4. Give me Baby Vegeta. Give me Omega Shenron. God, I hated that so much. Yeah, and like that's all I I'm want. I'm a Vegeta fan. So. Like I love GT but with those specific parts that I just mentioned. The rest of the, the what are they called? Filler episodes. Get, go away. Get, go away. Go yeah. away. It, it does look like they try to chug on heart springs of Dragon Ball fans. Yeah. I didn't watch Dragon Ball, so I can't speak to too much oh, of these. Oh, I, I did. I watched a lot of it, yeah. but uh, like I only know, so, I don't know a lot. There's, so, <laughs> there's a lot. Like Dragon Ball had a lot of episodes. Apparently, because there's a mm-hmm. lot of the memories you pick up, and I'm like, I don't remember this one. But then yeah. I remember all the corn stuff when he had to climb the thing to get mm-hmm. all the way to the top to get yep. the sensu beans and the, no, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the water. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I remember the Demon King Piccolo stuff, and then I remember the War Tournament. So I remember all that. I remember stuff. when he first met Chi Chi when he had to, to save the. I remember the that. village. Mm-hmm. And I remember the de- the crazy ba- bandit dude where it was her dad or whatever. I remember stuff like that. Um, episodes with uh, the Red Ribbon Army, and uh, he actually had to help uh, Baba. And there was like a weird tournament thing yeah. he was fighting with Baba. Yeah. The the weird thing with the. Board. I remember meeting Master Roshi. I remember that. Yep. I remember he's all curling all being stuff. a butt. <laughs> Krillin looked weird. I forgot yeah. what he looked like. I picked up a memory. I was like, Jesus, that's what Krillin looked like. Yeah. He looks like I a mean, five year old boy. There's yeah, there's a lot of good things they they could have done. I just I I I wish or I hope because we're not done with the game because you said Father Son Kamehameha looks really good. I'm I've hoping that they get better with Twitter. these scenes. Like <laughs> like Super Saiyan two go on. I swear to God, better because that's like one of the best I scenes hope. I've ever had. I've that's seen. That's true. Like I love when he change. He gets so mad and he just changes. Like they better get his monologue, Android 15's mo- or 16's monologue right before he dies, and Cell better crush his head because that's part of the show, and he he just snaps. One one th- another thing they don't they don't commit to things, and I guess I kind of get what you mean by it is called Kakarot, but I th- I just feel like they're glossing yeah. over shit unnecessarily because yeah. I'm playing the fight. Why are you glossing over the actual event yeah. that happens? And there's, it's, and then why do I have to? Hit, this is another. Why mm. do I have to hit A after every time someone's done talking? 
Oh, they're man. voice acting. Yeah. Why aren't just they let just it, talking? Let it be. Like let it be a cutscene. I get when they're not talking, mm-hmm. like when I'm talking in the open world. Yeah. Why is it, Why is it different? It's right a cutscene for a reason. Blows Blows my mind. Just weird design choices. Uh, going back to what I mean, though, like Tian Chen, uh, Chen Han. Mm-hmm. Remember when he dies from tri beaming mm-hmm. cell? Mm-hmm. Don't even see it. It's like oh. off screen. Why even put this in the game then? <laughs> if you're not gonna show proper respect to this. Yeah. I will say Yancha dies very hilariously, like always. Like always. There is a funny side quest with him, too. Oh, God. That it, uh, I won't spoil, but it's very funny. Okay. It makes fun of stuff like that. I just hope they make those moments like that, or at least f- live up to the expectations of those scenes. Now, you asked me about the Z-Orbs. What is, what is, you, what, what, how are you playing this game? Are you collecting them all, trying to be as strong as possible? I, because... Are you I've, leveling everyone up? What, what are you doing? See, um... To level everyone up, mm-hmm. you have to be playing as them, right? Not necessarily. They could be support characters. How do I level them up, then? Because I've leveled up Gohan, and I leveled up Goku. I'm assuming that's the only two people we've had. I've had so far, I guess. I mean, but like, let's say if I'm cl- playing as Goku at the moment, right. can I go and level up Gohan while I'm as I play Goku, or do I get away? So to you're right him? where you can do intermission, is what it's called. Okay, intermissions mean you can you have a space between arcs. Okay. So you can go do stuff. So yeah. Saiyan Saga, Frieza Saga, yeah. there's a middle space where you can go fly around and change who you are. Of course. Oh, I didn't know that you can change. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. just go to That's your cool. party and switch oh, out whoever you want to be. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. And you'll have an intermission after Frieza. Gotcha. And then you can do that. It does suck that at your point in the story. Yeah. Goku's locked out, of course. So like, that's that, that's what I was trying like to figure that. out because I was like, if, oh, if canonically they're not there, of course yeah. you can't. You can't well, be because them. yeah, because I unlocked a move for Goku and I was like, oh crap, how do I? you know equip it yeah i had to figure that out on my own what do you think of the training thing oh and by the way i just figured this out you know the z encyclopedia mm-hmm. when you hit start and then hit y yeah you get wards from that yeah i know i didn't know that yeah i literally opened it today oh and my they, god and they dropped down like 90s d medals that i needed I was yeah like, oh my god yes because i was like so low yeah you have to hit z you have to hit the y button uh, to open it if not it won't give you anything because i i because i had never paid attention when it came up but I, mm-hmm. then i realized like wait is that reward unlocked a lot what is it giving me there's an like, achievement me, yeah because let me look at the encyclopedia just in case yeah <laughs> yeah there's an <laughs> just, achievement for getting at least 200 uh, i got 400 yeah I had I had just got the achievement the other day, the last time I played. Uh, so I am doing a lot of the story because I'm not like I'm, I'm I haven't left a single side quest behind. I've done all of them so far. So okay. there are bugs aplenty. So I know you haven't played as much, but there are bugs where people won't appear in the world for whatever one reason. One thing that kills me: this fucking camera. <laughs> I was fighting Vegeta the first time you fight him. Mm-hmm. By the way, why I don't know why I could not be him the first time. Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I was I, expecting a tough fight too. I was the same level you said. I was like, oof. Hopefully I, was, I got this. And then I, I was played 17. It, went Kyle Ken. Just beat the hell I couldn't use Kyle Ken. Not because, Kyle Ken. I'm sorry. Not, that wasn't Kyle Ken yet. Uh, wait. It was Kyle yeah, Ken. No, you can't use Kyle no, Ken. No, I, 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 was, I try to use Kyle Ken, mm-hmm. but when you use Kyle Ken, I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, your health. Your health goes low. Yeah, but, but I was doing enough me. damage to like. I was fight. not. Are you just. I'm literally, dude, dude I tried. I'm just mashing A. I tried. Every time, every time I was. Okay. I was fighting him. Oh. I'd start out. I transform immediately. Mm-hmm. Shoot, uh, fight him, fight him, fight him. Kamehameha. It'll take a. I'll, t- I'll get him to. I'll be doing great to mm-hmm. yellow bar halfway. And then he just. And then he'll do this cutscene thing. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna mm-hmm. And he just wrecks me. He mm-hmm. does this thing. I don't know what he's doing, but I can't see him because the camera mm-hmm. makes it to where oh, he's above that. me, I and it, all I'm so looking. It's a top view of I'm me. I'm just like, why is this? Because this you can't tell where it's coming yeah, from. It's a top view of it, me, it, and I can't move. I try doing the the transport thing to get near him. Nothing happens. It, it shows the red marks on the ground. Yeah. But you're at an angle to where you can't tell if you're underneath the red or not. How no, are you supposed to No, I, I can't see. Literally, I'm up here. So I'm looking down at him, and Vegeta's up here. So he's just shooting me with everything. So then I finally teleport behind him, and you would think it would stun him. No. Nope. He just keeps going, yeah. and then it kills me. And I had, I got – so I couldn't use – I beat him without KO Ken because I just kept waiting and then charging. Kamehameha. Waiting till you got close. Kamehameha. Just Kamehameha <laughs> the whole time. Are you healing? Huh? Are you healing? I don't have anything to heal with. I don't. He, need, I you, didn't. I didn't know that okay. you can heal. Yeah, you can go buy things. So you yeah, you know have probably picked up a few things you can sell. 
oh, to yeah. go to sell something and it says actually, an exchange item that can be sold. I actually sold all my stuff that it has exchange items and it says I have like 20,000 right now. I don't know if yeah. that's bad or good. Uh, that's decent for okay. early on. Um, but okay. you can buy Vita drinks is what they're that's called. What, I had and one and I used it. <laughs> they give you one. You can buy the rest. Okay. Um, but you can you should be... They're cheap. You can stock full of them. Now, I did oh. accidentally spend all my Zenny, but... Mm-hmm. I'm destroying this game. I have so many Vita drinks, and th- and they introduce Sensu beans later on. Okay, and corn. I don't know. On I think it's on a 30 minute timer, 20 minute timer. But okay. corn makes Sensu beans. Okay, and a little thing will come up. Oh, you can go get Sensu beans, and you can go go um, over to corn and get Sensu beans, and that's like a limitless supply. Was there some? Is there something in the game that when you make or get it permanently boosts something? Because I I I, th- I could have swore I read something. But not everything is just limited to time. I could have swore I read something that was like, oh, when you do this, it'll permanently boost your stat. But I'm like, nothing's permanent. Everything's just timed. What do you mean? So, for example, like if, in if your you, skill tree? No, 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 no. Um, I mean, I, ho- I maybe it could have been that. But I, I thought it was like when I, if I was cooking something or ate something, I could have swore. I, okay. I could have read. I could have swore I read something so that I'm it confused said by that permanently. Too. Is uh like did something, but then no, when yeah. it says it says three minutes duration, I'm like that's not permanent. No, no, no. So I'm so confused by that. So if you go to a meal, okay, it says plus three percent key defense. Mm-hmm. At the bottom, it says meal effect plus three defense key defense. Okay, I can't tell which one's permanent. I don't think any I, of them. Well, why does it say it twice then? I don't know. I think one of them is permanent if you eat it. Okay, I think. I, I don't, don't think know. I don't know. This game doesn't describe anything well. <laughs> it doesn't because because uh, because they were saying permanent, but nothing's permanent. Because then it says duration three minutes. I'm like, three minutes. That's me. Just dr- is it gonna go away when as I'm flying? That's three minutes. I do think the bottom part is permanent. Mm. We'll I'm have to see. Pretty sure. Maybe look at your stats and then wrap. Yeah, and then eat one and yeah. then wait until it runs out. I don't know this so, game. Yeah. Th- this game has its has its issues. <laughs> it has its issues. But it is fun in the fighting aspect. It is fun in the fighting aspect. It's been a while since we had a Dragon Ball Z RPG. Yeah. Um, so it is... I mean, I don't know. Have we had one RPG? I mean, Budokai? Is that really RPG? Xenoverse? I mean, I mean Xenoverse is as RPGs you yeah. get. But it's good point. not... You're not playing as Goku. Yeah. Though. You're not playing as Z. You're playing um, through parallel quests. Can't remember which one it was, but... It wasn't the Xenoverses, or at least I don't think they were. Which Dragon Ball Z game, and it's going to sound weird, but I could have swore there was one, which doesn't let you charge. I swear there was a Dragon Ball Z game that was like, I tried to charge, and it would not let me, or unless it it unlocked it later on, and I could not figure out how to charge. Sounds kind of, I remember in one of the Budokais, you could charge, but it was hard. You had to like hold down and Y. I don't know. I have to look it up, uh, but I feel like there was one where like I can't find my charge. I don't know how to charge, and I just, I mean, because it it would charge it for you when you fight, when you battle, when you're hitting and stuff, it'll go up. But like if I don't want to fight and I want to stay back and charge, it I couldn't figure out how to do that. I was trying to think of raging blast, but you could charge it. I don't know, but I have to figure it out. But. So far, I mean, I am having fun with the game, but it's not great. Yeah, this is no by no means great. It's a good uh, time. I'll be honest. If this game came out around anything even remotely great, yeah, wouldn't no. be playing it. No, God, no. But nothing else is out. So if you need something new, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Um, um, and I, I did need something new. I was not playing anything. I've been on a TV binge thing for like the last month I think or the two. audience knows that, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally on the lap, last episode of Penny Dreadful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I'm gonna finish it tonight before I play Kakarot, cause just because I'm on the last one. I want you to know you're watching a show called Penny Dreadful. It's a good soak show. that in. To be honest, yeah, and, and to be fair, it was on the it's on the was on their channel Showtime, which was with Dexter. So I mean, they gotta have good shows, right? Dun, 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 There's actually a new uh, Penny Dreadful show coming out. It has a uh, of course there's. uh the chick who played um uh, in Game of Thrones. God, what was her name? Oh, it's uh, Natalie Dormer. Nice. Yeah, she's gonna be in the new one. Nice. That's hot. Um, Anything else you want to say? I don't think I have any uh, final thoughts on this. This, again, good game. If you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, I think we can look past most of these things because it's just still so cool to see these events happen, regardless of the actual quality of the event happening. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, at the end of the day, I give it a a, a, a pretty good 
nothing great. It doesn't it tries to do something, but I, again, I think it came down to time. They just couldn't either they couldn't afford to wait, or they just didn't have the time to keep keep playing, making this game, or they just didn't, didn't want to. And they kind of like was like, well, we're just gonna make this half baked and ship it out. I found it. What what is it? Um, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. Oh God! How to charge your key? That. I played it. It said because there's even a video and it says since you can't actually charge key during battle, here's a method to recover energy. And I think that's when you, you when you're uh, fighting and stuff like that. I tried that game, and I was like, how do I charge? It's it, it was so annoying. I was so upset. Cause I'm like, that's the best thing. Like one of the best things in the game is like, you know, you're sitting there, you're like, ah, and, and and you can't do spirit it. Spirit bomb. Now I see why I, I forgot about it. Bomb on their face. I will say you do feel strong. <laughs> I will say that <laughs> you do feel strong, especially at, um, where I'm at. Mm-hmm. When Vegeta and I just shoot a big bang in, in their face mm-hmm. and she'll whole bar come off. I'm like, that's pretty cool. So since you have, you're already in the Saiyans or excuse me, Cell so. Saga. When your transformations, you have still have Kaioken and Super Saiyan now. Yeah, you can still choose. Between you can still the two. choose between. Yeah. Okay, yeah, if you really want to, I'm not going. Interesting. to. Interesting. So. Well, no, of course you go straight to Super Saiyan. Yeah. But like, w- like when you get Super Saiyan three, would ever be a time you'll pick the one versus three? No. Okay. I'm assuming there's stipulations. Well, I assume three, yeah. your key bar is gonna go. Well, because you, well, because you remember in, um, God. Ooh, was I, it? I feel where was you're it dropping. Raging Blast? Yeah, it was. It was like, yeah, it's one, like when you when you unlock two, one, three. then that's the only one you can go to. Mm-hmm. Remember, uh, uh, I think Raging Blast is the one where you have to go one. Oh no, I'm sorry. Then two. Uh, Xenoverse then three. Xenoverse, yeah, Xenoverse, Xenoverse one is when you all you had was Super Saiyan yeah, one because and, it was a equip thing. Yeah, you had to equip it. Yeah, yeah, and that's all you had. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Why would you like, not be a Super Saiyan? You can be a Namekian. What the? F- I don't get out get of here. here with that. <laughs> I'm gonna be a green man. Nah, man. I'm so gonna people, to people, be a super saiyan. So people were make being uh, the Majins. I'm like, mm-mm. I'm like, I'm like, I I respect it, mm-mm. but no, never. No. Why never. You, why don't you want your hair to turn yellow? Right. I'd be superpower. I can shoot uh big bangs in people's faces. Yeah, I right. am excited because mm-hmm. there is a season pass to this game, mm-hmm. and I believe you get a full arc plus two missions or something like that. I don't know what that means, but. Bonus content. I'm curious if they're gonna pick a movie, or if they're gonna do some super stuff. I feel like they're gonna have to add Burley. <sighs> That's the easy answer. They, I know because they do it with everything, but I feel like they're gonna do it. <sighs> that feels so lazy. You though. know what they should? Uh, I they, guess that. Uh, you want to? They need the to do. They only did it. I think maybe once. Uh, the Bardock Super Saiyan thing, because he was the legendary Super Saiyan where he gets sent back in time. No. You don't want to do no. that. No. It's too. That, that, what, what you. You're gonna be Bardock, yeah, and then you fight what's his face, and then it's, it's it. Frieza's uh, um, uh, ancestor, <laughs> yeah, great cousin great or thing, grandmother yeah. or something, or it, whatever. It's, yeah, it's like grand ancestor, or whatever. No, and he becomes no. the real. Le- he's becomes the. He's the first Super Saiyan. No, nope. Alex, what? stop it. Yeah, man. stop. Just give me GT. Stop smoking it. I would take GT over that. Whoa! Yeah. You heard more those. content. You heard that, folks. He rather have GT. Then Bardock turning Super Saiyan hey, with that this... Rambo bandana. <laughs> <laughs> why did he wear that anyway? I don't know. To make I, you know what? I do know why. To make him differentiate from Goku because they just made the Goku That's model a good, that, slightly darker he has with a, a scar X scar on his face. He's like, oh my god! Did they it's ever not explain Goku. that? I don't no, remember. no. They don't explain anything in Dragon Ball Z. I don't even know if that's canon. What is canon? I, I don't know. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of January 21st. Thank you so much for listening. If you made it all the way past here, I hope you had a good time. I hope you spent that time with us and don't regret any of it. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. Remember, scream at us at our socials at EVM9000 at Cravius Flips Creator. I'm about to burp. There we go. Um. Yeah, Patreon.com for the dollar e, uh, early access. We actually might record that after this. I know I said that last week, but I might actually do it this time. <laughs> um. Thank you all for listening. Y'all have a great rest of your week. Do you want a DeLorean? Yeah. <laughs> well, good because <laughs> they're apparently producing some more. DeLorean confirms plans to produce new DMC twelves. 
Why? The new DeLorean should be worth the wait. Uh, built from a mix of new old stock and a brand new parts, the cars could get a 350 horsepower engine. And it's um, Epsi says the bodies will will still be closely to the 81, 83 originals. So what's, you can have a DeLorean. <laughs> what's funny is I I remember hearing the other day that they're like they'll never make more DeLoreans. No, they are. Yeah, there we there yeah. we go. Yeah, I'm Lord. not gonna lie. I I w- no, you wouldn't. Don't even. I wouldn't mind a if DeLorean. If you were rich, yeah. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> no, I I I. I, I enjoy, like I, I I want to be in a DeLorean. I think it's cool. I think it's I think it's cool, because of the doors not to own. I think it's I don't know. I you mean, like suicide doors, Alex. I mean, would it be cost efficient? Are they cost? I mean, you can't speed. You only go eighty eight miles an hour. I think that's why they made it I that mean, way. Technically, you because can that's speed the that's the top in, speed on that. I thing. think you can technically speed in eighty eight miles per hour. I guess. Do that in a school zone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> run, kitties, run. I guess so. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. It's some bonus content for you. Yeah, right? Y'all have a great rest of your week. <laughs>